All right, guys, I'm gonna walk you through the rules for radicals once again, uh, just very quickly talking about how we work with these and what we do, because you're going to leave the radicals in your answer, all right? So for multiplying, when you multiply, you are going to take your square root, whatever it is. If you multiply by it another radical, let's say it is four, you take and multiply those numbers underneath two times four to get the square root of eight, all right? You can simplify this, but we're not going to work with that. We are just going to leave it uh, for now, okay? You'll do more of that next year. Same thing if you had the square root of three times the square root of five, multiply the numbers underneath, and you get the square root of 15. If we're multiplying a coefficient, all right? Coefficient is the number in front. So if we had two root three, if we multiply by a radical, then you are going to multiply the numbers underneath. So you really have two times the square root of three times six, or two root 18. However, if you multiply by a whole number, so let's say you multiply it by three, this three is not under the radical, which means it can't be multiplied by the square root of three here. It actually gets multiplied by the coefficient, the number out front. So instead we have 12 root three, and this would be like if you take, um, to compare it, four x times three. If we multiply four x times three, you would say, oh, that's 12 x. Well, this x, right, acts kind of similar to a square root, right? X, it's kind of like the square root of three, that when we multiply four x by three, you get 12 x. If you multiply four root three times three, you get 12 root three. Now to talk about dividing just a little bit, if we're dividing radicals, if your radical is in the denominator and the numerator here. So if we have four root two and we divide by root two, well then easy enough with those, they cancel out and we're just left with four. However, if we divide a number, let's take 10 for example, by root three, it's not on top, we can't cancel it out. And what you end up having to do is rationalize your denominator. So you multiply by that square root on top and bottom. So now on top we have 10 root three, and on bottom root three times root three is root nine, or the square root of nine is three. So we would just write it 10 root three over three. One last example with that, let's say you have 15, you divide by the square root of five. Well, to get rid of that square root in the denominator, we take and multiply by the square root of five on top and bottom. And when we do that, on top you get 15 root five. On bottom, root five times root five is the square root of 25, or you could just write five. One thing to notice about this problem that's a little different, here 10 divided by three, we can't do anything with that. However, 15 divided by five, we can actually simplify that. 15 divided by five is three, and you are left with three root five. And I can't write, so I'm gonna scribble it out. There we go. All right, if you're having questions on radicals, feel free to reach out. I'll be happy to answer anything that you have, but these are the basic rules we're gonna follow. Thanks, guys.